Hey, it's Ann with Gideon Gardens. Um, as you can see, I chopped out a bunch of tomato plants, four of them. Uh, one in the drained waste, which is right here. And uh, it, it, it developed such a massive root structure, I can't even get it out of the bucket right now. I have to work on that tomorrow. But uh, let me show you the roots on the ones I took out of the solution. I mean, they were good, healthy roots, but I just had way too many tomato plants. So, I'm down to two orange patios and two tiny tums and then the greens. So, I put all the greens up on the top shelf so I could have this shelf to start seedlings. And I come up with a system for myself. You know, somebody, somebody else can use it. But I came up with an envelope system for myself for starting seedlings. seedlings. And hold on, I'll show you here in a minute. Alright, so here's the system I came up with for myself on starting seedlings. I, I took envelopes and I wrote on them the date, nine weeks before the last frost, and then um, what I can sow indoors during that time. And then later on, you know, eight, seven, six, five, four weeks, you know, the list get bigger. It's like what I can sow indoors, what I can sow direct sow outdoors and what I can transplant from, from seedlings that I've already started. And this, I hope, will help me keep straight, you know, the weeks um, when I start seedlings. I've already missed a couple windows, but I'm going to plant some anyway on the moringa and the artichoke. I'm going to plant um, five of each and go ahead and see how they do, although I'm a couple weeks past the window for planting. And I'm starting my seeds and soil blocks. This is a soil block maker from Johnny Seeds. It starts 20 soil blocks and uh, Elliot Coleman uh, has a recipe for the soil to use to make the blocks but um, by the time I bought all the ingredients and mixed it together <coughs> it was just as easy for me to order a 60 quart bag from Johnny Seeds. So I did and here sometime this week I will be starting some seeds. You mix the soil up with some water and you take this little contraption and, and press it into the soil and then you press the lever and it extracts 20 soil blocks. And then when it, they, they don't stay, just at the bottom they, they're stuck together. At the top, they're, the soil blocks are separated somewhat so you get an air pruning effect with your seedlings. And after your seedlings get big enough for these soil blocks, there's the other block maker that's a little bit bigger that these little blocks fit down into. So you just take the little blocks and fit them down into a bigger soil block. And those also are, are somewhat separated so that you have an air pruning effect until you can get ready to plant them outside. So other than my five page paper, which is uh, due this week, this will be one of my tasks to um, get that shelf set up for seedlings and get some stuff started. started excuse me. So this is Anne with Gideon Gardens. There's an update on my hydro shelf and some of what's going to go in the garden. Talk to you later. Bye.